Welcome back to another pretty HD video. Today we have another Villarreal Karim Odomson. It is the game against Atletico Madrid, baby. Man, this will be a difficult game. And it is against fourth in the table. We are level on games. We're only one point between us. And, um, well, we cancelled each other out. That is the simplest thing I could say. Half time, nil nil. Unbelievable game. Because. There was a game of so little chances, but the chances that came along, they were so close. And, I mean, Vieta there came quite close to the shot. And then to Madrid had a chance as well, where Alexandro punched cleared, um, punched clear, but they managed to get a chance. And by the way, it is the January transfer window this episode, so go ahead and smash the like button. Can we hit 10 likes just for the January transfer window? It would mean so much. Um, thank you. And um, hopefully you can go down and give that to my channel. It would be awesome. But we do go ahead and um, consider corner. Is that like Madrid after the corner? And of course, if you didn't know already, then live calm is coming up at the end of this episode. Um, around just after this game. Because of course, January starts this episode. And we try to counter attack, but the ball is poor. Jan Fram picks it up on the, uh, well, just approaching our last third now. It is Thiago on the right hand side. Jan Fram gets it back. But Sheroshev could be away here. Against Atletico Madrid, we lost Deportivo, we've lost many of the teams around us, Valencia, Madrid, and even um, the opposition side of Barcelona we only drew against. This time, we've got a chance to win Atletico Madrid away. What a result this would be. Yes, it's all fine and dandy beating Atletico Madrid, but you've still got to beat the likes of Deportivo. But man, to beat Atletico Madrid, it would be such a morale booster for the season. Can we do it? We've got a penalty kick. It is the 90th minute. Who is going to be our hero? We remain, if this goal goes in, we remain with no nil nils. All during, during this series. And the worst part is, we are cursed on penalties. Will we be cursed today? Please. Oh my god, it's quite far off. But it works on the time where you at least expect it to. We get the goal. And we are looking towards the victory. Man, the three points are within touching distance now. And we will go ahead of Atletico Madrid in the table. Up to third if we are to continue and to win this game. Which I can tell you, boys and girls, we certainly do. Get right in that damn goal. Man, that is such a relief. We get a 1-0 win against Atletico Madrid. We cancelled each other out all game. It was a stalemate game. I didn't expect to win it. I didn't expect to even score. Man, that is such a good feeling. Such a morale booster. Anyway, let's go over to the live com. Hopefully you enjoy it. This is the league table as it stands. We are sitting in third with Villarreal. Yes, it's been an okay season. We've not done amazingly. I still don't think third is reflective of our season. Um, the smashing against Real Madrid was poor. We didn't turn up for that game. The loss against Ebar was poor. The loss against Deportivo wasn't amazing. But then the win against Atletico Madrid, well, that wasn't deserved in my opinion. The loss against Deportivo again was deserved. But the only teams that we've lost in this league are Valencia, Real Madrid, Deportivo and um, Ebar. So two of them are teams that I don't expect to lose. Two of them are teams that I do expect to lose. Atletico Madrid was a team I expected to lose. Maybe I got a bit lucky. Um, but to be honest, I've got a bad feeling that if we... It, we, we could end up dropping off towards the end of the season. We're very thin on players in the squad, which is what January is all about, I suppose. We don't have much financial backing. We are only one point above. We're only two points above Atletico Madrid. If, but it could have gone either way. In the 19th minute, we got a winning goal. If Atletico Madrid, one would have drew us, then we'd, uh, we'd be behind them still. If two would have beat us, and we'd be all the way down in fifth, quite far behind everyone. So it's... um. It's been a bit of a weird season, but this is what January is all about, I suppose. Another thing is, guess who's requested to leave? Uche, I'm going to have to put him up on the transfer list. His contract's expiring in six months anyway, so I want to try and sell him before someone snaps him up for free. He's gone down in rating recently, which is even worse, um, because he's gone down to 77, which means we won't get as much money for him just in the month, which, going, which is going into January. The pace for will not be useful anymore to me. He's surplus to requirements. Except he's not. He's not surplus to requirements because, as you can see, this is my shortlist. If we get rid of Uche, we'll be thin on strikers. And I mean thin, thin, thin. Moreno 
uh, Dos Santos and Vieta. We've already been thin on strikers. We've played Campbell up front, we've played Balassi up front, and we've played Cherishev up front um, once or twice this year because of strikers being tired in between uh, congested fixtures. But here's my shortlist, right? So let's just work from back to front, and then I'll get to Shane in a minute. Gabriel, I've put in a straight swap offer with him. Um, it won't pay off, but I'll just try it anyway. But he's just still there. Fabian Cher, now I'll put a pre-contract offer in for him. Alexandro, again, a straight swap with my sub left back. That one definitely won't come off. He probably won't either. Straight swap with my sub left back. He probably won't either. Straight swap with my sub left back. He might probably not, though. Kalasinak from um, is it Cameroon. Uh, no, Bosnia. Bosnia, of course. Bosnia, I love that nation. Um, Bosnia. The left back from there. Uh, it looks a bit scary, actually, doesn't it? But Alex Tayez, of course, I love this guy. I love Tayez. He was with me in my Everton career for one season. I decided not to. I decided not to um, make his loan into a permanent deal in the end because we um, we had better options. Now I loved him, but he's he was just too expensive at the time. Looking back on it, maybe it was a bad option. Maybe it was a bad decision. But now it's another opportunity to get him for a longer period or longer stretch of time. Aquino. This is an interesting guy. He was awesome last year, and he's also glitched this year. He's actually running out of contract, but because he's not glitched yet, I'm wondering whether to even bother. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in a deal, and if we are going to get him, it would be a risk. If he glitches from now to summer, it would be an awesome buy, but I don't think he will, because players normally glitch later than that. They normally glitch around two or three seasons in. But Kalasinak is an also uh, a very unique option. didn't mention that he was quite unique. Andre Ayew, a player that was up there in my Everton crew mode also, didn't get him in the end, always wanted him on FIFA, let's try and get him this time. And then we've got the strikers. Here are the strikers. Going back to Ayew as well, we need a, a, left, a winger and a left midfielder, so that's why Quino and Ayew there. These are strikers. I want to try and get something Spanish into my squad. We don't have much Spanish depth at the moment, no Spanish core. The majority is Spanish, but we've not bought a Spanish player yet. So I'm looking at Yota Perez, um, Alva... Alvaro Morata, Rodrigo, and that's all the Spanish players there. Harry Kane's another great option. Never bought him in career mode. Was about to buy him with Birmingham back in FIFA 14. I'm glad I didn't then because now I can and he was a lot better now. Gignac is actually running out of contract. Probably my less preferable option, but he's still an okay option nonetheless. We've got Simon Romero on a fake player. Of course, starts off with the free agents. Um, is that e no, it's not Ecuador. What's his nation again? I'll remember as soon as I see Yeah, Venezuela, that's it. Uh, decent week for decent skill moves. He's a very good player. He moved to West Bromwich Albion in my Everton career mode, and I was scouting him very closely. But in the end, I didn't decide to get him. Um, so now I'm chasing up for him again, and we are looking to try and get pen to paper deal with him. His contract is also running out in six months. We've put in a pretty contract for the now Galatasaray fake free agent striker. Right, this is the important part. We've decided to end the uncertainty surrounding Ikechuku Uche. Sorry, I've always struggled with that name. By selling the player as soon as possible. So they want him gone. They want him gone now. We've got a transfer offer. Of course, we've used him in a straight swap with many of the uh, many of the players. So, that's not the best of offers. I'll try and sneak four million out of him. It's less than his value. He is 30 years old, though, and people are will be trying to get him on the cheap. But I really hope they return their, uh, I really hope they reply soon because otherwise the board will sell him very, very cheap and I won't be able to use him in any negotiations either way. I've got a game coming up against Elche. Villarreal played them recently in real life and, and they won, in fact. So that is pretty cool. Oh my God, a lot of things happening here. Right, pre-contract offer accepted for Fabian Cher. Too mainstream, in my opinion. Um, it's not a bad deal, I suppose. In real life, it's a pretty realistic deal. With Musashio out injured, we, I think we could be okay, though, to the end of the season. And then I'd like to bring Gabriel back. Gabriel isn't a common op op option on career modes, mainly because he's, he's only recently joined Arsenal um, in real life and on FIFA. So any new career modes, they have to wait one or two seasons anyway to get him. So I really sort of want Gabriel, but I'll have to see with Fabian Scher. Counter offer received for Ayu, because we can't actually afford him at the moment. I went in and put 60 uh, still can't afford him. So let's put 65 and see what happens there. Also, again, he'll probably counter offer with 70. This is why we need to get someone red very soon. Gignac again. Um, I need to delete that. Um, right. Uh, they want 
that they're interested in the player that we've included, Uche. But they want 13.5 million plus Uche. Not happening, son. Juventus, they are not interested in the player. And the cash on its own isn't big enough, of course. So let's get rid of them. Newcastle United. They're interested in the player, but they want 7.7 .7 million for a Jose Perez. That is an absolute rip-off. Valencia, they are not... Oh, no, they are interested in the player, but they want 8.9 million plus the player. We just don't have this kind of money at the moment. And FC Porto, they are interested in the player again, which is excellent, but 8.4 million. That's just dreadful. Then Arsenal straight out reject. Oh, now it's worked. Earlier on this year, it didn't work. Um, but now it's worked because it said on his club status at the club since 2015, back in 2014, which means you could put in bids for Gabriel. Of course, though, you can't. You can't on uh, this point in time now because it's 2015 and now he's officially joined the club. So let's get rid of him. Um, okay, Fabian Scher is making me think he's pretty much one of the best options. If we want to buy anyone in this very high career mode, pre-contracts are pivotal. Thing is, the players that we most want aren't on pre-contract. And that's the real shame about it. Fabian Scher, do I or don't I? Do I or don't I? I'd be left with 35,000 left on my pre-contract section. I don't want to just yet because I'm really, really interested in Simon Romero. It would be an awesome signing. Oh, wrong thing to get Simon Romero. We don't really need a striker, I suppose, in some ways. But maybe if we do get rid of Uche, this transfer window, we might actually get away with out him. You know, then we'd only have three strikers. If we go ahead and look at our sell players list, um, loaned out any strikers that could be interested in a recall. Pereira probably wouldn't be a bad recall, maybe just for now. Because Simon Romero to join next year. Romero, De Santos and Vieta, that would be an awesome partnership. Uh, you've got Franz Sol even, um, Acosta. Where do I go from here? The only thing I can do is play a match. It's against Elche. Let's do this.